right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his young brothers. And peace and blessing, salutations to the hopeful lake out there pushing his word and truth and the sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here and shout on to the whole flag, the believers, the listeners that have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai. This is another edition of Hebrew Hobbies, you know, and what I want to do, you know, was just go into, you know, seven, you know, quality brands of incense, you know, just dealing with the incense. Um, I know I say a lot of brothers and sisters are, uh, you know, are getting into these things, so, you know, I just want to show, you know, some good things to get. You know, as you, you know, get more in tune to the incense, you know, the stones or the resin, you know, whatever you um getting into, you know, but just as some pointers and some suggestions, you know, as, you know, I became real, you know, heavy in the incense as, as of late, you know, I was really inspired, you know, mainly by the brother Eliasha Wumba, you know, whom I had the, you know, the pleasure to be around. A few times, you know, and uh, you know, he was really heavy into the Palo Santo, the incense, you know, and particular things. You know, the brother El Kazak down here, he's heavy, you know, into the stones. You know, he's the first one I seen burn the resin, you know. So, uh, you know, I just got into it, you know, and it's like anything you do in life, you know, you start off, you know, in ignorance, you know, you get, you know, kind of low grade, low quality, you know, first thing you see. And then you kind of, you know, uh, step it up, you know, you come more wise and, you know, you come more seasoned, you know, and whatever you do. Now, we're going to start with the different brands. This is about seven brands. Now, the thing is, these are the brands, you know, I'm going to um, just push forth and, uh, you know, they got different, you know, types of incense, you know, in their brand. So, I'm going to just go into the brands. You know, uh, some good smells, you know, some high quality, long lasting. All right, I'm going to deal with probably the best one that you will get, the best brand. All right, which that's what's burning, you know, right now. All right, and it's going to be this brand, you know, Fred's. All right, Fred <clears throat> Pose, you know, resin on the stick. All right, and this is the frankincense and myrrh. All right, and as you can see, the actual resin on the incense. You know, and they kind of caked it over resin, you know, but it's a good, sweet, you know, long lasting burn. You know, this incense here probably will last, you know, two hours, you know, or, or more, you know. I say, so it's a good buy. You know, you'll get a pack of 20 on Amazon. All right, as you can see, uh, a pack of 20 on Amazon, you know, uh, probably run you about 16 17 dollars. You know, it's a pretty good, you know, investment to have, you know, if you're into those things. All right, and now you have this brand, all right, um, which is um, Satya, all right, and these is a smudge, you know, type of incense, you know, pretty good. You can buy these in bulk, all right, I have like a case of them for like $20 where you get like 12 packs, you know, of these, you know, which is a pretty good buy. You can get those on Amazon as well, all right, and then you have, you know, these, you know, this is also another one. That has resin on them as well. All right, I think I got these last time I was in New Orleans. You know, they had them in a spot. Um, this white sage with dragon bloods. You know, I say you got the the resin on there, and this is a good combination. You know, but this brand has several. You know, um, different types of incense. You know, nature, nature. All right, pure resin incense. That's another. You know, good buy. You know, so there's three. You know, and this is another smudge. All right, it's called Natal Soul Incense, you know, um, because what I like to do, like if I go out of town and see a brother, you know, I go to Memphis or New Orleans or, or Dallas, Atlanta, you know, I go to, you know, the incense stores, you know, I hit the incense stores and see what they got, you know, so I got, you know, quite a few, I've just been buying and trying different things and, you know, so far these are the best, you know, that I had, you know, as of, as of now. All right, so you have this brand, uh, Natal Soul. You know, this is white sage and lavender. You know, it's another one, you know, that gives off a, a good, sweet, you know, potent smell. And that's the one to the left, you know, that's actually burning now. 
you know, is this one here. All right, the one that's burning now to the left on you know, the smudge. All right, and now you have um this brand here. All right, this brand here, which is uh all right. As you can focus in on, it. there you go. All right, this is a uh, Trilaka. All right, Trilaka. All right, now this is another you know good brand to get. Um, uh, I say they're they're not expensive at all. You know, this pack here probably about four dollars. You know, it give and take depending on where you get it from. We have a, a um, instant store locally down here. I can get these from, but this is another good brand. You know, this is Yellow Rose. Now these don't burn as long. You know, you may get a thirty minute burn. You know, but it's a good smell. You know, good quality. You know, um, incense to get. You know, and they got several. You know options as well and then you have all right the hem all right the brand all right the hem you know which is these are road you know in indian all right this is a uh, dealing with elon all right there you go all right so you have him all right this is dragon's blood you know it's a pretty good brand um and also when you buy incense you know try to stick you know, to the, 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 the things that are actually resins. Like this dragon blood is an actual resin. You know, frankincense and myrrh is a, is an actual, you know, uh, resin. You know, things that are, are come from nature. You know, all those crazy names, you know, uh, uh, strawberry sunshine, you know, all that craziness. You know, try to stay away from that. You know, white sage. Those things are actual, you know, lavender, which is a flower. You know, those things actually come from the earth. You know, so the best way to try to avoid chemicals is stay away from the crazy names, you know, when you're buying the incense. Now, this is the last one. This is the latest one, you know, that I found to be good. All right. And this is uh, the organic, all right, um, masala incense stick. All right. Organic, organic goodness. You know, I think I got these in Birmingham. You know, it's another... Birmingham has another good incense store. They got a couple, you know, that I go to, but uh, the one called Golden Temple, you know, is where I got these from. You know, which these are pretty, you know, uh, is a pretty good brand, you know. So, uh, yeah, this is uh the seventh one, you know. So I say uh they have different, uh they have different, you know, varieties in this brand as well, you know, and it, it's similar. It's a smudge incense, you know, so it's gonna look. You know, similar to that, you know, have that light brown, you know, that kind of smudge, you know, um, texture to it. All right. So, um, and also, you know, these are incense holders, you know, like this one here. You know, this is, uh, you can get this at Walmart, you know, uh, 90 cents, you know, you can get you some of them. Or you can get the double holder, all right, which is this box. Right, and you stick them. You know, you stick this uh stick part in the ends and you see you stick sticking out. Alright, you can mix the incense, you know, burn two smells at once. You know, you can also close it. Alright, it has holes, you know, you see the smoke come through. And if you want, you know, you can put your stones, you know, on top, you know, while you burn the incense. You know, so you have your stones on there, you know, while you're burning. You know, doing your lesson, read, you know, just chilling, meditating, sipping wine, whatever, you know, you do, you know, as you, you know, unwind or getting in the spirit or, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, you know, but, uh, so I, so that's the showcase, you know, as far as the incense, you know, the seven brands, all right, as you can get a good look, you know, the seven brands and I'll show you a look. <clears throat> deal with Amazon, you know, to help you kind of find these things, and also on Etsy, you know, you can search on Etsy, you know, they have different brands, uh, they have these brands on Etsy, you know, and Amazon, that's gonna be, you know, the main place where you find, you will find these brands, you know, so, hope that was helpful, you know, just want to put your brothers and sisters on a little game that might be new, you know, to the, to, to the incense game, you know, but uh, any questions, like I say, just uh, put them on the comment board, you know, um, and then I say, we'll go from there, you know. So, till next time, you know, shalom.
right? Shalom one. You know, just another quick trick, which I know, you know, you might be a you, you might be already um hip to it, you know, but you can um uh, you know just go to Amazon, all right. You can go to the search bar and hit the camera and um you can take a picture of the product. Alright. And what you will see. Alright, is that product to come up, you know, the Fred Souls. Alright, um resin on a stick, you know. So then you get into it, you go to different, you know, um different styles, but you know, there you go. You know, um let's try it with another one. You know, it's another one. Tripped on them. Try it again. He saw his technology. But yeah, here you go. So, you know, they go their brand pop up. You know, and like I said, you'll find, you know, all the brands if you've seen, you know, either on Amazon or Etsy. You know, Etsy probably be more price friendly, you know. But, um, yep. So, just a quick, you know, tip. You know, just for searching products, you know, through Amazon, you know. Hope it was helpful, Shop One. <clears throat> Shop One. All right, so as you deal, you know, with the scriptures, you know, you know, incense, you know, was a heavy part, you know, of um the priesthood. You know, they burned sweet savior, sweet savors until your howl by Shema Shai, you know. So these, you know, instances are, are a part of our culture, you know, and we understand that a lot of these things are spiritual, you know, because these instances will represent a sweet savor, all right, until you how about Shemao Shah, just as you're delighted, you know, with the sweet smell of an incense, you know, Yahweh Shah is delighted, you know, with obedience, you know, so our, our obedience is likened to a sweet savor. Until you how about Shem Al Shah, our faith and our obedience, you know, but just dealing with um the uh, culture, all right. Um, just real quick, you know, I'm not gonna get all into it, but you know, you can read, you know, for yourself, you know, type in the word incense and look up, you know, and uh, read over the scriptures, you know, um, dealing with incense. Now, this is Exodus 30 and 1. It says, And thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon of shittim wood, shalt thou make it. You know, now, uh, this ain't shilling wood, you know, that we got, but, you know, you see the, the different look tools that we use, you know, to burn, you know. Um, verse 7, it says, And Aaron shall burn their own sweet incense every morning. When he dresses the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And when Aaron light of the lamps at even, he shall burn incense upon it, a perpetual incense before the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai. Throughout your generations, you know, and this is something, you know, that some brothers are into, you know, more than others, man. Like, you know, all the things that, you know, I go over with these Hebrew hobbies, you know. But, um, this is not a, a commandment, you know. It was, you know, for the priests, you know. They had a certain, you know, it was a very tedious office that they had, you know. They had to burn incense, you know, and it was a particular kind, you know. Most high didn't. No want anything. Matter of fact, read verse nine. It said, "Ye shall not offer no strange incense their own, nor burnt sacrifice, nor meat offering. Neither shall you pour drink offerings thereupon." You know, so the Lord was very tedious on how He wanted to be, you know, on uh, reverence. You know, through the priesthood. You know, and in this time frame, it's through faith, obedience, and that correct doctrine. You know, and their discipline. You know, so um. You know, just something, you know, for you brothers that sent to it. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, it was helpful to the next time. Shout one.